Hey everyone, this is your girl Coteria, and welcome back to my channel, My Opinions Vlog. So let's go ahead and talk about my girl Monique and this ongoing feud with her eldest son, Shalom Jackson. I did a video yesterday and um, I didn't pronounce his name correctly, and it's not that I could, but I wasn't interested in, you know, looking up his name, so I just kind of like seen the headlines and stuff. And so they did say the name, but I wasn't really sure of it. It's Shalom. And, you know, I had people leave a comment. It's like, why you didn't say his name right? I just choose not to say his name right. It's not a big deal. But y'all understand who exactly who I was talking about. But I'm going to do a rebuttal um, to the video I put out yesterday. Um, because it seems within now, this is going on three days. Um, two days going on three days back and forth with her son, Shalom Jackson, and the mother Monique. Now he, he don't did about three videos thus far. He stated that he was done after the second video and he's probably working on his fourth video. So I felt like the oldest son had very ill will, a hidden agenda attentions onto his reasons as to why he's coming out now to respond about, you know, Monique, his mother, as he stated in his words, you know, she wasn't shit. When she gave birth to him, and kind of like she ain't shit now. You know what I'm saying? In my words, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, look, when I do commentary, y'all, I'm very direct, straightforward. I'm not with that, oh, let's be professional, articulate wordplay. I just say what comes to mind. And I love me some Monique, and I still do. I'm a big fan of the actress Monique, and I'm going to stick to it. I'm not a flippy flopper. You know, even though she's been going through hell with certain industry beings for years, and the injustice of how they did her, and now she's fighting with her son, and it's pretty sad. But I'm not one of the people that's going to switch up because now we got the older son coming out, and he wants to tell his look, bring in his two or three cents, and spill his tea on his relationship with, her, with his mother. Now, um, mind you, the son is almost 35 years old. She had him, you know, under 18 at a very young age. She was immature. She said she was ignorant, which means she wasn't educated at the time. And plus, you know, she went through her own trauma being molested multiple times, you know, by a family member. And Monique has spoke of this publicly. And this is not really easy for a person to speak about, you know, molestation to the public because people are very judgmental. But Monique has been an open book since she arrived on the scene. You understand that's one thing I love about her. People don't love her direct approach because she's headstrong and I'm headstrong. She's a fire sign. I'm a fire sign. You know what I'm saying? When you come at us, we're going to come back with razor blades and lemonade. Okay. Which means we're going to hit back even harder. And that's, that's Monique's stance. A lot of people don't like that about her. They feel like she should shut up and go away, but that's just, you know, she's very resilient. You know what I'm saying? She's going to, you know, stand and stay and stick in her own shit. She's not going to just go away easily. You know what I'm saying? So it's unfortunate that the older son have came out and he is stated the reason why he did a video because the recent sit down club Shay Shay interview that she did with Shannon Sharp. And he stated that she directly mentioned him. Now, when he said this, it wasn't direct. She just talked about her sons because unfortunately, Monique have all sons. She doesn't have a daughter. She has three biological sons and I believe she has a stepson. And what really irritated is the fact that, you know, when she was talking about her family dynamic as a whole, and it wasn't about Shalom Jackson individually, he felt some type of way. Because, you know, I can really go back and I can do a deep dive, but it's a waste of my time. I'm a worker woman. Because he states now in the third video that she numerous of time have mentioned him. And I don't think she individually, you know, mentioned him, his name, oh, Shalom Jackson, my older son. And said, I don't even think... She was very direct. I think she just speaks about her di her family dynamic as a whole. You understand? And he's going to always be included because he is part of her son. Even though he's an absent son, you know what I'm saying? I think, honestly, my opinion by choice. And that's just my opinion. We can agree to disagree. And let me tell y'all something. The thing is that when I look at a lot of these videos and I look at everybody, I support a lot of channels that may not know because I'm just a regular viewer. I like to read the comments. And it's so hypocritical that... A lot of people act like they shit don't stink. Like they don't have dysfunctional family. Like, you know what I'm saying? They ain't never did something. They don't wrong their family. No one is perfect. And neither Monique is. And one thing she always took accountable of her lack of parenting to the eldest son. You know, she, unfortunately, he was the oldest son. He wasn't the middle, the, the last son. He was the oldest son. And she wasn't ready to be a mother. 
She didn't want to be a mother by choice because she wasn't ready to be a mother. She was still a teenage. She remember she was, you know, still young minded, which is to be expected. But what so be what really surprises me is when he was saying that, oh, you know, I'm not going to bring up my father because my father's not the one that's mentioned me in interviews. Monique has to mention you whether she wants to, whether she not want to mention you because she had you. So that's kind of pretty crazy to me. Your dad is not a celebrity. He's not known like your mother is known. So, of course, I don't see him doing any, you know, um, um, press tours about you. Unfortunately, Monique is your mother. So I feel like it doesn't matter if she excludes him and not speak of him in the in the future. He's still going to feel some type of way because what he's going to do is that now he's going to say that he wasn't spoken of. And now she excluded me. So, like I said with my video yesterday, damn if you do, damn if you don't with this young man. He seemed very bitter and he's harboring a lot of this past trauma that I think himself should have got help many years ago. You're almost in your mid-30s and, you know, you're still looking for validation from your mother. And I'm not saying he shouldn't, but you're a grown man now at this point. You're a father yourself. You're a parent yourself. Your mother cannot go back in the past and you cannot relive, you know what I'm saying, being a child. You're going to be a child once. Now you're an adult. You already don't transition. And you also let it be known in the first video, you don't care to have a relationship. So why are we still here? Now, when this young man said that he was done making it, um, videos, I knew that he was full of shit. I knew he was full of shit because he likes the sympathy and payola in my Nicki Minaj voice. I first heard the sympathy and payola from Nicki Minaj. So that's why I'm bringing her name up. He right now is looking for sympathy from nobodies and also from the general population. You understand? And they're feeding it to him, which rightfully so they have the right to. They're going to pander to him being, you know, a victim. He was a victim when he was a child way back when. Now he's an overly grown man and he still wants to play the victim of what his mother didn't do or what she did do. You understand what I'm saying? Instead of, like I said, you moving on and being a better parent than Monique wasn't to you. That's the only thing that that's the only lesson that you can get from this situation because you can't change Monique. You can't make Monique. Be a parent to you. You are already overly grown. You are, you are a, a father and a parent yourself. So it seems like you're still seeking some type of validation, some type of connect. And then you're saying that in the same sentence that you don't want to reach out. You don't want to heal, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, open wounds. You want to just leave it at that because you said your mother is very, she's not understanding. And I really feel like the real denominator and the problem is it's not his mother Monique. It's her husband, Sydney. I think he has a very um, um, dis distaste and dislike for Sydney, her husband, because he is a force to be working with, which means he always Monique mouthpiece, as he should. He is her husband. He's just a very strong husband that's going to make sure he have his wife back. It's just that we don't see that on a regular or daily basis to have a husband that's so opinionated or have a husband that speaks, speaks up for his wife. So it's not a normal thing for us to see because we don't we don't really see it. And a lot of us women are very strong individuals. You know, a lot of us, we don't have men in our life. So we do things on our own. We are the woman, the man. But to see a black woman like Monique have a man that's still with her almost two decades by her side through the thick and the thin, through the trials and tribulations, he's still there. And people are now saying, you know, thanks to D.L. Hughley, that, you know, she's a paymaster. Now she's um, buying her husband. Now she's paying his way. They are married. They are husband and wife. They're married. So that means, like I said, what's his is hers and what's hers is his. So now we're going to change the um, dynamic of that situation. We're going to change the narrative to fit, I guess, people who don't like her. You understand? So it just, when you see these stories and videos, which everybody got their two cents just like I like I do in these comments is very hypocritical. It really is. There's nothing wrong with a man supporting his wife. And people felt like, you know, he shouldn't be butting in. He shouldn't be speaking to his stepson because legally that's his stepson. The mother should be speaking. But we don't know what goes on when that when they, when they get off their live. We don't know what goes on behind the scenes. We only preview to what they bring to social media so we can only feed off and we can only dictate from what we heard, what we hear on both ends. It's two sides to every story, but it seemed like no one is really too much interested in Monique's story because it's her approach. Monique's have always been a receipt queen for almost over a decade because she's been railroaded and she's been played and she's been humiliated in the industry and lied on. 
So now you always got to come with receipts when somebody tell a, I want to say, um, a biased narrative or send out a biased narrative, narrative about you doing this and that and the third. You got to show people it's not what it, what this person is saying. Look, it's two sides of the story, which it is. He said he made a general statement kind of like Monique is not interested in wanting to uh, reconcile their broken relationship. She's not interested in reaching out to him. And so she drops receipts, even though it's three years old, like I have tried. But see, that's what I'm saying. You don't know how this man may treat his mother when he's not on his little, you know, TikTok live. Because, see, he come up very disingenuous. I can see through the fucking smoke and mirrors. Y'all can, like I said, you know, he can let y'all can fall for the sympathy and payola. Just because he's articulate, just because he's soft spoken like his mother, he get it from his mother. The apple don't fall far from the tree. And then, like I said, it's, it's very interesting that, you know, and I don't knock him for it, but like I said, this man have to pre root Brief read his actual, you know what I'm saying, his little letter, his statement. He has to pre-write it down to make sure it fits his narrative, to make sure he's not off. So I noticed that when he's reading a lot of this, he's reading it from a screen. It's not coming off his, 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 out of his head. It's not his own way of thinking. But like I said, he has to write this down and then read it. It's very, you know, child, let me not go there. Because like I said, honey, a lot of people ain't going to like what I got to say. And I don't pander to, you know what I'm saying, the general population. I say what I feel. And this is my opinion. You understand? And I'm not saying Monique, you know what I'm saying, ain't wrong. But how long is she going to be wrong for something that she can't fix that happened over 30 some years ago? Either, like I said, you can heal from it and move on and you be the better parent than Monique. <clears throat> and you show your daughter that you, that you, that you could be a hell of a father. And not be Monique. That's all you can really take from this situation. Like you said, you don't want to bridge the cap. So, so leave it where it's at. Why, like I said, keep on making these videos. And let me tell you something. It's not going to stop. Like I said, I'm, I see through this young man. And like he said, he got a lot of support. A lot of donations. Which he should. Because like I said, mind you, Monique is all, you know, she had a wonderful interview. She got a lot of validation. A lot of people finally opened their eyes to the things that she was fighting about. And now you got, you know, a son, a very emotional son coming out with a lot of his old baggage. And he wants a spirit on the Internet and he wants sympathy and payola from his mother. We don't know if Monique did not try to reach out because to me it seemed like she did. But like I said, when you're dealing with difficult children, it's this difficult. And sometimes you have to, you know, back away and give them their space. You don't know his approach. Just because he's coming off like, oh, he's emotional and he's understanding. He's really crying out. His heart is bleeding and stuff. You don't know how he is when he turn off that, come off that live or when he shut down his computer, his laptop. You don't know the real Shalom Jackson behind the scenes. You only know what, he, what, what, what he's showing you in that live or that video. It's two sides to everybody. He come off very condescending. And now we got the new, you know, let's bring it all to the Internet and let's expose everything. Monique business. And her Hollywood situation is totally different from, you know, the family affair, the family dynamic, because they're saying that she's always online for years. Talking about Tyler Perry, Oprah and Lee Daniels. But if somebody fucked up your back, I'll be doing the same thing, too. That's totally two different things with the situation with her son, because I'm pretty sure she tried to fix it. But he seemed like he's very difficult. And he's stubborn in his way, just like his mother. She's stubborn, he's stubborn. Just like I said, the opera don't fall far from the tree. It's just different genders. It's just that he's a male and she's a female. But he came from his mama. So all that soft-spoken and stuff, it comes from Monique. Because that's how she is. But she can turn out when she wants to. But I think this man, he's not telling everything. He's depicting his story to, like I said, get sympathy from, like I said, the general viewers. Who's going to who's going to side with him, which is rightfully so. That's their right. But like I said, you bring it to the end that what is going to prove what, what is it going to solve? It ain't going to change Monique. She can't go back and give you the love that you lost when you was a, a, a child. And it wasn't right. It was not right. But at least she, you know, what I'm saying was a good person to give you to a family that could take care of you, nurture you and show you love. She didn't just throw you away and put you in the garbage. I'll leave you on the side of the road. She didn't do that. That happened to a lot of, um, of innocent children. Get put in the dumpster. She didn't do that. At least she knew that, you know, she was, a, she was um, a, a young teenage. She wasn't ready. She made a bad mistake and a bad choice. At least she gave, her, gave you to 
her mother, which is your grandmother, or her cousin to raise you. Good, good people. So she can't be all, she can't be, you know what I'm saying, a, a really shitty mother. It seemed to me that she tried. And I know people may not agree with, oh, her buying him or, you know, giving him the thing, you know, or buying his love. But what else to do? When you, when you, when you wasn't present in his life when he was a young boy. Because you chose your career because you wanted to send him to college. You wanted him to have a better life. This is a lot of people's story. It's just that perhaps she's a comedian. She's famous. She's a celebrity. But a lot of parents put their child to the side to chase their dream. A child may not like it. Everybody can't balance things. I just hate that people always want to fit Monique into their, you know, to, in, into their life, into their story. This is her story, and this is how it is. This is how it is. So like I said, when she met her husband, Monique would tell you, you know, she she was a ghetto kind of woman. She had a flip mouth. She used to use the word bitch. She was like one of them ghetto loud women, and her husband kind of tamed her. And show and loved on her and show her how to be a classy woman. She speaks of these things. But like I said, people are very selective because they have not been true fans or followers of Monique. They only just really waking up to what was been going on and what she's been, you know what I'm saying, ranting about over the past 10 years. She's been saying the same thing. It's just that when she went to Club Shay Shay, not everybody like, oh, we see, oh, they fucked her over. But she's been saying this for a long time, but everybody... Thought she was a problem, you know, the, the common denominator. Oh, she's this and that, this and that, and the third. When somebody lied on you, I'll be bitter too. And take $3 million that you could have made in a, in a year, I'll be mad too. People are so quick to say get over it and move on until it's them. When somebody fuck over your money and do you wrong, then you want to go to social media, you won't help. And sympathy and payola just like Monique. I just hate how people are trying to turn on her, come down on her. And now we got the son making the situation worse. Now Monique, oh, she, she should be ashamed. Why she dropping these receipts? This is private. Monique been doing this for years. Why do y'all expect her to change now? She's not going to change. This is an overly grown young man. Her son is grown. He's not a little boy. Okay, he's a grown ass man. So she have a right to defend, his, uh, defend herself. She's like, he got the right to defend himself. And like I said, I don't see him going away no time soon. And like I said, now you open up a, a, a now that you don't open up Pandora's box, young man. I hope you can take being on social media because it ain't always good. But just don't blame your mama when it don't work out for you. Because now you saying that you're done with this video, you're done with this video, and watch she gonna keep on getting on here, and it's gonna keep on going on and on and on, and then people gonna start realizing, you know what? Maybe you know what I'm saying he's trying to you know clout chase off his mom. Now he's trying to get his own storyline. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, with the help of his mother. Monique is always going to be Monique. Monique ain't going to shut up. She's always been that way. So I don't know what y'all expect. But I'm trying to see what he's trying to gain from this. And then look, he wants sympathy and payola. And he's actually getting that from folks. But let's see how long they'll stay around. What type of talent that you got to bring? You said that you're a comedian. Is this, is this the headliners? Or is this is your um, opening that you want to be bickering with your mom? Is this how you want to be um, noticed? How you became viral, I uh, got on social media because you made a response video to your mom and the response, the response, the response, the response, a never ending response because you know your mom ain't going to stop. I definitely think Monique is a very hurt woman because how she was treated by certain individuals in the industry. But thank God she has a good supportive husband that a lot of people don't like because he supports his wife. He's doing what a husband's supposed to and she's doing what a wife's supposed to. Your man's supposed to lead, you're supposed to follow. He's the head of the household. And people don't like it. I had I was listening to um bust um Kwame Bust Down Brown or Bust Down Life. Kwame, and he had a very, very good video in response to Monique and her husband. Folks are not used to a man leading and being in control like a man's supposed to. And people are telling him to stay out of this situation with um with Monique and her son. But like I said, it seemed like Sydney was has been there since he was a little boy. Now, like I said, I just wish that Monique would have, you know, spoke up a little bit when they did the first response. But like I said, I feel like if Monique spoke up, guess what? It would have been no different. And she might have, you know, would have started probably cursing. So that's probably why she had her husband, who's calm and collective, who knows how to speak in a, a manable tone to speak for her. But it would have been no different. It would have been no different. She might have she might have could have said some things that she probably didn't want to say. That's probably why she didn't want to speak. And she prefer she prefer her husband to speak. 
We don't know. Like I said, we on the outside looking and judging. And again, like I said, I feel like Shalom Jackson needs a lot of fucking therapy. He needs to get for himself and stop blaming your mom for everything that happened in your life as a 33 or 34 year old man. You can only blame your mother for so long. Okay, I'm not sure if he married to his girlfriend, but you're in a relationship and you got a beautiful daughter. Live your life. Okay, like you, you really need to let go of this baggage because it's real. I can see like the hurt in this young man's eyes and I feel for him. But this should have been let go a long time ago. You cannot make your mother love you. You can't make her reach out to you. I believe she tried, but I feel like he just so, you know what I'm saying, hurt. And I think his approach is so negative. And I also think he could be very disrespectful. But we're not going to know and see that. And we don't want to hear from Monique because we already swayed by what he said. And it's the same thing Monique been saying for many years. It's just that the son is saying it. But Monique have a right to defend herself, especially when a false narrative being put out here that I'm not trying to, you know, reach out to you and that's not true. And I don't care if it's two or three years ago. She tried. He probably shut her down every chance she got. I just hope Monique stay strong. Monique, stay strong. Stay strong, honey. Stay strong and stand ten toes on like you've been doing. Because like you said, the truth always prevails in the end. And like I said, good luck to your son, Shalom Jackson. I hope he's getting what he's looking for. I really, really do. And I'm glad he got subscribers. I'm glad he's getting financial assistance and stuff. Like I said, I feel like he got a very hidden agenda as to why he want to talk about this. You want to hold your mother accountable. What about your daddy? You have not mentioned one, one good thing that your father have done for you. But you can mention 30 bad things that your mother Monique have done to you. Which is very hypocritical again. But anywho, that's all I got to say. We can agree to disagree. Leave a comment and tell me how you feel. And I shall re respond depending on what you say. But alright y'all.